I had to click on the recording button and I returned back to the topic. I'm sorry for this. All right. So at, uh, as I, uh, I would just like to repeat it again. So AI is a form of computer science. It is used to create an intelligent machine that can recognize human speech, objects, patterns, can learn, plan and solve problems like humans. The entire concept of AI is built that there should be a machine who can think like us. Now, this itself is a very revolutionary thought. But at the same time, it is quite scary as well. Because just imagine someone else having your intellectual capacity. But we have control right now. So let's, let's focus on that in this case. AI is not something which has come into picture or daylight five years back or four years back. You would be very surprised that it was first... In uh, this concept was first bought by John uh, McCarthy in 1956. From concept in 1956 to reality for today is a long journey which has taken in place. So the concept is simple, mixing science and engineering to make intelligent machines. So the picture shows it very well that a machine and human hand in hand can achieve almost very good vertical heights and that's exactly AI promises. Now coming to the science of making. So basically there's a science behind making machines intelligent. How is that possible? Because a machine can do proper decision making. They can have accuracy. They can solve complex problems and they perform high level computations. Now to make this machine, basically we have to give a lot of data. We need to program them well so that they can start. So they work on pattern, they work on feeded data, they work on a lot of concepts which we human are aware of and we give them that intelligence. So basically we are trying to feed our knowledge, our information to them. But the good part is machines have better accuracy because they can see much more patterns and thought processes and different analysis and stuff better than human brain and Hence, they are becoming more and more intelligent. Just imagine from having a computer at home, which was a very big thing. Now we are moving into robots and other kind of things, which these machines are going to simplify our day-to-day -day lifestyle. So that's exactly what um, the science is behind. So we all have AI because we want to make machines more intelligent. That is what AI means. Now coming to three types of AI. Basically, these types are on their capabilities. Okay. So first type is artificial narrow intelligence. I'm going to cover them in more elaborate way in the next few slides. The second type is artificial general intelligence, AGI. And the third type is artificial super intelligence, ASI. The first part is basically which solves one area of problem. So we all know a few examples, but I will cover as I'm going to come next. The second part is basically the second stage is more that it becomes more smarter and can do everything what a human can do. This is something which is futuristic at this point of time. And the third part is wherein it is more conscious. It has the psychology, emotion level of human brains also. And this is where the real intellectual machines will come in picture. Thank God the second and the third level of a um, uh, artificial intelligence is still not in reality. Okay, so coming to the first part, which is the reality, artificial narrow intelligence, which is ANI. It is a stage where uh, AI, uh, um, ANI is a stage of AI involving machines that can perform only a narrowly defined set of specific tasks. These narrowly defined set of specific tasks are also very awesome and fabulous. Examples, Siri, all iPhone users, we all know how used to we are about Siri. It simplifies a lot of things right now Siri recognizes our voice so there is speech recognition there are varied things which come in this ANI model Alexa Amazon 
you know they have bought alexa we can just say which song we want or we can google about something and alexa will answer for us so that is where ani examples come in self driving cars very fascinating we have all heard about them so these are also wherein they are feeded with proper data which helps them to perform task like driving okay sofia the robo i don't know whether you have heard about it or not but please do google because there has been a lot of debate and speculation so there was a hong kong company which brought sofia in fact it's the first robo guys which was interviewed by cnbc channel and she really really scared people out okay so please go and watch that um, interview because uh, she was um, uh, you know really uh, i mean she impressed a lot and she also scared a lot a lot of people so that's ani and that's what examples of ani are for now coming to the second type that is artificial general intelligence okay guys so this is not in existence as i said this will enable one machine to interact with other and hence machines will work in tandem now just imagine one machine after completing his or her task will inform the other person so that that machine can carry that work the next work now that's going to be really fabulous a network of machines working together in sync and carrying all the task of ours now that sounds very interesting more like movies so it is advanced robotics but it is not in existence at this point of time there are varied reasons why they are not in existence why they're already been in, uh, invented but they're not in this thing because there's a lot of threat also behind it so this stage is not very uh, open right now and the third part is asi which is artificial super intelligence is a stage of uh, ai when the capabilities of computers will superpass human beings oh god i think that's again something which we don't want but it is we have already seen such examples do you uh, 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 i mean do you uh, remember your fictional movies star trek transformers we have seen them taking charge of human and earth right so th those are straight out of like you know asi and you know those things are really live and been directed by in movies so i think uh, we have a glimpse of it already this is also not in existence right now so only ani is in existence agi and asi is invented but they are not in existence why because there is a possible threat behind it even like big notch people like elon musk steven hawking they have already raised huge 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 awareness behind ai not being given the entire flexibility and liberty to introduce new products and markets or get more invention and research and development on it why because they see that it can summon the human kind in future and it could be threat to human kind in future and i think i believe because i did see transformers and other few fictional movies so better not that but the first stage which is ani that is reality and that helps us to solve a lot of problems and that's exactly which we are going to show you i am going to show you real time examples which really work for us and that's why even those real time examples are so huge and so massive and so disruptive that there is huge uh, career path laid out in front of you so let's move to the next ai functionalities so there are four different types of ai functionalities one is reactive second is limited memory third is theory of mind and the fourth is self awareness okay so in this case guys reactive is basically first type which is purely reactive let me read this out to you guys this is the most basic form of ai it perceives its environment situation directly and acts on what it sees so as you see a guy playing chess with a robo now the robo has only that much understanding of what movement is happening happening on the chess board it has no further intelligence because it can do only one task it doesn't have a concept of the wider world it can't form memories or draw on past experiences to affect current decisions it specializes only 
in one area and that's exactly this what the picture shows the robo is capable only to play chess okay guys so this is something which is there in reality don't haven't we seen vacuum cleaners they can't do anything else they would not have any other understanding or they would not have any other perceptions or emotional or e iq or any other level into it they just know that once on they need to start you know cleaning whatever is there on the surface you have to clean it one of the example which is very much the first example which went viral is ibm's deep blue which actually beat kasparov at chess which was a very big thing because he's a grand master in chess and that's exactly where ai got its headlines and got attention from everybody all right guys so these are how so there are a lot of robots which are prepared for uh, you know playing games even like uh, some small banking functions and stuff so that is type 1 only one task done okay guys um now coming to the next level limited memory further up on ai evolutionary ladder this type consider pieces of past information and adds them to its pro pre programmed representations of the world all right so it stores past experiences and hence evaluates future actions this sounds interesting it has just enough memory or experience to make proper decisions and execute appropriate actions so guys this is wherein they have been feeded with a lot of previous data so big data comes in picture here wherein they have given a lot of future a uh, past data so for example self driving vehicles it doesn't happen like this no one will sit on those cars until and until we know that they are safe and absolutely it's a reality now that these cars are safe why safe because the entire driving vehicle is feeded with a system which has sensors which can identify civilians roads objects signals there is immense amount of data which is been given to that car system and hence it works on that memory and it gives the best results and you can sit back like the man sitting in a black coat there chatting with his girlfriend <laughs> so so that's how uh, robots are you know coming in picture in real time scenarios chatbots i know a lot of us know about it but don't know what exactly chatbots are but have you seen going to a website where in a pop up comes in and it says hi i am abhay here would i would like to support you and there's someone who's actually chatting with it guys it's no abhay behind the scenes but actually there's a chatbot it acts as a personal digi digital assistant so it's 24 by 7 now this these chatbots are prepared by giving past data so typically the website owner is going to give that chatbot all the past experiences about what typically students or you know the user ask on that website and that makes it very interesting so there are case files into it the moment you say i want to know the price of this product it will remove the price log file and display all the pricing for the user who has landed up on that website sounds interesting right and it works 24 by 7 benefits of artificial intelligence now coming to the third kind theory of mind okay so this is where emotions of human are going to come in picture of humans this type which can comprehend feelings motives intentions and expectations and can interact socially has yet to be built but would likely be the be next class of intelligent machines so this is where artificial intelligence is progressing i am covering both the areas which is in existence and futuristic for you to realize how ai is going to be a huge big thing for people all right there's a huge product development there is huge concepts there are huge experiment there's huge r&d which is happening between artificial intelligence and hence that's where you need to be if you are interested that's exactly where you need to be so these are the places however we have seen few examples of them as i mentioned in a favorite a lot of people like star wars and we have seen real robots which actually emit 
theory of mind as a concept so you know it is very interesting and coming to the last level which is self aware this is a level where in i hope it doesn't come in picture i myself have that as an opinion why because they are the future generation of machines super intelligent sentient and conscious they really have the psychology and the emotional quotient as well so they can make abstractions and inferences on their own now this is really really something which can can go out of our control so it is always better that they are limited um uh, ever in uh, you know ex machina sin series humans we have all seen these uh, robots in movies in fact and they also in movies they have created chaos so this is the fourth level which is restricted but we have already invented that we never know where and what clicks and where and where we have these things coming in reality now coming to the advantages of ai i really want to talk this in little more length because you will realize that how important ai is reduction in human error so there is a lot of algorithms which are feeded in ai machines and ai utilized uh, real time examples and hence it reduces human error we all want to reduce our error right so that's an advantage available 24 by 7 so humans work 8 to 9 hours we can only give our best for that much time but 24 by 7 if there's some system which needs our attention we can have ai place there helps in repetitive work simple task like sending thank you mails that can happen by ai guys don't you think so it's a very very dogmatic work so that is where ai comes in picture digital assistants chatbots as i explained i have someone 24 by 7 to attend to my website users now that is something which is brilliant because i know at least 70% of their queries can be solved with ai that is going to be a brilliant thing and that's where it is used exponentially already faster decisions humans take typical good amount of time to analyze there's also a lot of chaos because there are a lot of entities and stakeholders around us but if given to machines they can take decisions faster so that's exactly where ai is bringing in that possibility rational of course they are rational there is no emotion behind there is no one who is going to play our mind games on us and something so they are very rational medical applications very important because diagnosis reports everything can be much more better even neurological disorders can be mapped by uh, ai apps and ai uh, machines because they have a lot of pattern which would be feed it to them and that will give a better understanding to uh, the uh, medicine provider so medical applications are also being worked out with ai improve security cyber security with all this thing becoming online is a major threat to all what we are doing online these days right so it improves security and efficient communication this is very easy i'll tell you how does it happen ai uses natural language processing guys nothing very difficult about it we all speak language right we speak hindi we speak english our mother tongue and all of these areas now this is our language so machine also has a language so the machine which ha- uh, what machine uh, is feeded with is it is called as natural language processing okay guys now just an example of ai wherein languages and better communication is used it will simplify your thought process here google translator how many times we use that right because we want to translate something from german to english hindi to english whatever ways in this case now google translator is nothing but working on ai concepts wherein it has feeded a lot of nlp natural language processing and it gives us result instantly there is no one who's sitting behind and helping you a german helping you to convert it into hindi or english or whatever no it's all what is an ai application thumbs up to ai in this case now coming to a thumbs down to what ai brings in along so there are cost overruns right now ai has not been very efficient cost wise and hence only big applications are able to you know run and uh, we are able to support them so cost overruns dearth of talent wow i see an opportunity here guys so all of you who have been looking out to take their career somewhere and ai has been their interest there's a 
absolute dearth of talent guys there are so many companies who want to experiment with their applications get ai in their applications improve uh, their you know uh, their uh, time their resources and stuff but they don't have the right people and exactly why ai as i said is a ticking bomb there's a lot of work which is to be uh, which needs to be done over it so dot of talent opportunities for all the listeners lack of practical products this is something which i would say because there are a lot of products which might be expensive if ai has you know cost uh it, if it doesn't get cost effective so that is one of the reason uh standards of software development are not set across so you know that is something which needs to be established potential for misuse as i explained there's a huge threat that a lot of companies might build something which might go out of their control and hence there is a threat and that's why everyone is using this carefully highly dependent on machine that could be a future and we might get very very uh, dormant so even this is a huge threat requires supervision so as i said we all want to keep check on ai and in fact elon musk is asking governments to bring in laws and you know governance over ai applications it surely requires supervision we don't want it to go out of our hand and then worry about it so ai has certain disadvantages with advantages as well more advantages now coming to the skills required for ai so we understood the topic of ai i hope i was able to do that because ai is complicated because it has a lot of things involved together first machine learning neural networks robotics expert systems fuzzy logic and nlp as i spoke earlier these are the skills required by ai even one skill you have you are a ruler in the market machine learning i would love to talk about this science but i am taking an complete webinar on machine learning on monday so i would see you there if you are introduced uh, interested for that uh, to know in more elaboration but it is a science of machines to interpret process analyze data to solve problems so ml is a subset of ai so ai is a bigger set machine learning comes under it and then comes is deep learning neural networks is nothing but deep learning okay so deep learning is basically a process of implementing neural network it's a subset of ml it is a logic behind so for an example face recognition so when you go on facebook it recognize who is it why because it, facebook is already feeded with that person's photo that identity uh, you know face structure recognition everything so they identify who this person is so facial recognition is a part of deep learning because they go more deeper into data machine learning and neural network basically work on science behind big data data science and languages like r python tableau which we spoke in the last three seminars as well so machine learning neural networks are one of the skills two of the skills required by ai robotics is basically science of objects and movement we all have the visualization of robots right they move they do things on their own so basically it's again a branch of ai to have moving machines to work as humans so part of AI is robotics it also involves computer science mechanical engineering it involves a lot of things into it so that comes in AI so as i started my session i did mention AI is a very very massive field and it involves a lot of different areas hence it is for everyone even from a person from psychology can go into AI because there is some part of psychology involved in AI because we need to feed our intelligence to the machines so that's exactly what makes ai a very very interesting field then coming to nlp as i spoke earlier it's a science of human language to communicate with machines google translator is a pure example of nlp fuzzy logic nothing very confusing but it is a computing approach it gives a uh, like boolean it's boolean in nature that's exactly what uh, fuzzy logic means so basically you put in algorithms and you try to uh, you know get uh, output with lot of cases and stuff that way expert systems so expert systems is decision making ability of human expert analysis system of ai so 
expert system is nothing but making a machine able to make decisions this all include is included in ai complicated but very very rewarding all right guys so this is what ai is about so again to repeat artificial intelligence is the bigger set the ability of a computer program or a machine to think like humans do with ai then comes a next subset which is machine learning sub field of ai giving machines the skills to learn from examples without being explicitly programmed so this is where machine learning comes in so like we have gmail right we have primary uh, you know um, promotions and these emails fall into these uh, uh, folders automatically because there is you know an intelligence provided into it there's past data provided it so examples are giving into it so that is ml that is where email classifications happen on its own now coming to deep learning uh, neural networks one and the same specialized machine learning technique enables machines to train themselves to perform task image classification is one of the very uh, big example of uh, deep learning ml and deep learning is going to be be uh, covered uh, in more detail on monday so i would love to have you guys there now coming to the applications of ai however uh, vast it is however complicated it is the usage is vast again and that is why the opportunity is vast so automobile industry education gaming healthcare business finance government manufacturing you name and all the domains are using ai at this current point of time few examples is what i'm going to bring in later okay but this is what i want to address here guys ai has huge potential if you want you should start small you should first start with learning r python and other things because data science is part of ai again so i don't want to confuse you further but this is how things work robotics is also one of the things which you can explore in for and machine learning and their languages all of that we are talking about and we will cover on monday again so these are the applications but let us look at some few day to day tasks facial recognition facebook even your mobile it identifies you right our passwords are nowadays facial and you see uh, they see your face and they recognize you and the phone is opened up Lo uh, so that's very interesting what is that that is ai virtual assistant siri alexa google all of these are feeded with past information patterns recognition speech recognition and all of these things and they are now at work they work fabulously as an assistant to us so that's exactly what an virtual assistant is about chatbots i already explained you interact with a robot which is actually giving you information uh, you know rather than having a team of 100 people who are working as a call center or something that way so chatbots are taking place which are given intelligence to answer the users and people who want to get thing and self driving car which i already spoke Tesla is one of the very big example for it. A car is feeded with lot of things, signals, sensors, you know, civilians, humans, whatever it comes in. We have this also. Forget self-driving car. Uh, we have seen a lot of cars these days have a reverse uh, camera, right? It makes a beep immediately as it says some. a uh, object behind or a human behind or something that way. This is also an example of AI and machine learning, guys. uh more and more examples are popping up my head because there are so many home automation we want a uh, better control of weather we want better control of uh, window opening and lights and stuff and you know we have so much of automation nowadays at home that is also an example of artificial intelligence defense is something which is seeing ai as a very big thing why because they want machines there to identify threat at the minutest level there cannot be any lapses and hence a machine can be trusted the most in this case because it can work 24 by 7 and that's exactly where you know there's a huge spending happening in defense area also to have ai involved and you know working wonders disaster management guys have you wondered about this that there's a tsunami or there's an earthquake and we fall short of volunteers right because there is 
there is absolute chaos there but if we have robots which are ready and feed it with disaster management skills and techniques it is going to work wonder it is going to help us when we need the most so these are real time examples of ai and absolutely it is very rewarding so the job titles typically for ai are machine learning data scientist computer vision engineer data warehouse architect and algorithm engineer these all are ai job titles the salaries range exponential 142000 starting salary average guys and i'm not kidding because there is dirt of talent in ai and hence it is one of the most 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 progressive and needed thing by the employers this i've picked up from indeed which we all know is a best site to get and know the right information so coming to the last part how do i start there's a lot of thing to study ai ai cannot happen in one day or six months there are a lot of skills which you need to progress and learn enough for but again github coursera udemy code academy all of these have lot of courses on um modules of artificial intelligence but the best option for you is to go to university and study a masters but along with it when i'm in first year second year i can involve myself by learning to make projects like you know i can make a chatbot that's the most most basic thing which you can do but still we are lousy we don't want to work on we just want to listen to things and not implement anything so that is going to cost you because that is going to cost you a good job a good role a progressive field good money and everything if you are ready for that you can have and while your time but if you don't want to and you don't want to kill your time but you want to make yourself you need to start with small small steps so you need to make good um so each semester matters so might be from this semester i start ai i look at it i work on nlp projects i can do a project on language processing speech recognition small modules of ai and that shows my interest towards ai and that is where an employer would be more than happy to have you or the university would be more than happy to have you because you have shown them that you're just not an academic person you are someone who tries and tries to rise now that's very important and that's why we want to imbibe this in you by profile building mentoring education street have started pbm long back because we want to work with risers either you rise up now or you risk it all so pbm is an intensive and customized mentoring program designed by education street to work every step with you it works throughout your course guys maybe 3 year 4 year 2 year whatever is left in your course so that you are capable enough that at the end of the tunnel you get a good job or a university admission you can earn it yourself no market no economy can destroy you until and until you destroy yourself so that is where pbm comes in picture it offers exposure to skills road map of time we lose time right we don't have focus today i decided because i heard this webinar and tomorrow i'm out of it because now i have a new series on netflix and i want that to watch you know all my friends have watched it but guys if you lose focus Focus. You are nowhere. You are going to just be there, landing up with a degree in hand, but nothing learned out of it. Out of it, picking technical learnings, choosing a right course, industry trends. You need to do internships. So we help you and guide you to get good internships in AI. As we are listening to it, entrepreneurs who are working in AI, we would like to connect you with them. You know, resume building at the end so that your resume speaks. You have actually worked your ass in all the last years of your bachelor's. And who is PBM for, guys? It is not for lousy people. I just want to announce that it is only for people. who want to stand tall and see far it is only for people who want to make something out of their life and they want to find their ikigai if you are not that one you can please chill out and watch whatever you want to do but it is only for people who want to work hard so it is all for all the students who are from engineering any field of engineering not needed from computer science or anything who want have interest in ai or any other field any bachelor students 
also for engineers who want to switch fields i am in computer science but i'm done with it i don't want to go i want to go for a management program we are there to support you because we will build your profile and we will help you to explore new things so the outcome is power pack skills we will identify we will not identify we will help you to identify what works best for you so you would know after your bachelor's or engineering that this is what i want to pursue my career into job relevant admission proof and high on confidence you would speak your mind and you would really know what you want to do because you've explored yourself and you have really given a good chance for yourself all these benefits come at a very 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 a uh, small price it comes at 7000 rupees only naturally normally we price it at 10000 but all the webinar people who have joined us and who have attended it we are placing price only 7000 this is going to happen again and again guys so it starts with a one hour session with me so all the people who are attending the webinar and all the people who join us for pbm the first hour of session is basically with me ankita so we i analyze your current profile get things and i make a self evaluation report for you you read through with the task things so i get a list of skill certification internships and all other activities to capitalize your profile that's what i have to work behind you and this road map is only for next 3 months and again we have the same session after next 3 months because i know more than 3 months i cannot trust you <laughs> so then keep building and this process will continue until your final year of bachelor's with a power pack resume so that is the beauty of this program priced with very nominal charges now a lot of you have few questions so the top 3 questions lot of courses and certification available online what will you do extra in this exactly loads of option just google ai certification you will get thousands of option confusion max hai कौन सा लेना है कौन सा नहीं करना है कौन सा एक्चुअली क्या प्रोवाइड कर रहा है एआई के अंदर वी डोंट नो यू नीड एन एक्सपर्टीज गाइज यर रादर देन वेस्टिंग योर टाइम होल्ड ऑन टू समन हु वुड गाइड यू एंड लेट दैट पर्सन बी योर करियर एडवाइजर एंड वी आर गिविंग यू दैट हैंड अक्रॉस दैट वी वुड डू द बेस्ट टू बी योर करियर एडवाइजर इन दिस केस इज द प्राइस फॉर एंटायर ड्यूरेशन येस इन डीड नो अदर प्राइस फ्रॉम एजुकेशन स्ट्रीट इट इज स्टिल योर बैचलर्स द ओनली पेमेंट दैट यू हैव टू डू इज for the courses and trainings that you have selected after analyzing few with us and how is pbm delivered all online technology has given us a real understanding what power it has in this quarantine period so we will be having face to face mentoring with video chats we would have emails phones and there is a entire team working behind with you so that is where we are going to support you and let you be the most powerful person when an employer sees you we also work for studying abroad so if anyone who's looking out at the end of the bachelor's to go for masters in ai or masters in whatever you decide we work for wide variety of countries made be us australia uk new zealand australia germany and we do all kind of counseling coaching and visa processes for that and now in the start wherein all of you were questioning me about the certificate of appreciation this is how your certificate going to look you are going to get it for uh, the web Now that you attended today, if you attend it tomorrow again for a different topic, you would have a different thing. Soft copy would be emailed or WhatsApp to you by my team. And please, 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 it's a sincere request. If you can tag us with this certificate once received at Education Street, we would also be very, very happy, and we would feel motivated that yes, it made difference to you. And we will also send a hard copy to all who tag us. So this brings me to the end of the session, guys. I hope. I hope I try I made the complicated topic little easier and if you still have questions you can write to me at ankita@educationstreet.in this is our website our social media handle is at education street and i have been requesting that please like us because we have lot of upcoming webinars from industry speakers we have lot of videos what lot of informations and learnings which we want to share and in case if you are from mumbai we have three offices mulund washi and vilipar 
day and you may be you know in touch with us once the office is open out there so this brings me to the end of the ai session i hope it is useful my team would be getting in touch with you to apprise you with the pbm in more better ways because i see uh, a lot of people and students get benefited out of it and i really want each one of you to make the best use of this um so again i would go out for a uh, question and uh, answers so if any please have uh, post them across my team has also sh uh, shared instagram youtube and uh, facebook links so guys please please again uh, do like us and uh, do um, share that so uh, there's a question so by Soumya. What is the difference between AI and ML? So AI, as I said, is a bigger uh, set and ML is an umbrella. AI is an entire uh, concept. ML is basically the machine learning, basically the things which we feed. So the languages, it's a part of it. So a lot of things which machine learning involves, deep learning and everything. I'm going to cover that while I'm going to do the... Um, uh what do you say the machine learning session uh on monday so you may uh like to attend us uh, there that is going to be very very interesting which you would like to you know know further upon so ai and ml work together and that's the best part about it um okay um Sanjeev, what are the courses we have to learn? So, uh, Sanjeev, there are varied amount of courses which are available in the market, okay? So, artificial intelligence cannot be learned at one go, okay? There is not like one textbook which you can read and you can be done with it. There are different parts. So, as I had explained, the skills are machine learning, then there is deep learning you need to learn that fuzzy logic expert systems nlp speech recognition there are small small modules of ai so you can start with small small courses of this but it is still very confusing and hence i would let you know and i would suggest please join us for pbm we will help you out to choose the right courses and programs and structure it in a better way so that you are not you know confused and lose the focus over it so sanjeev i hope i answered your question um uh, the let okay so Darshan, thank you for your kind words. I am very grateful that you like the um, lecture and the knowledge. Thank you so much. Um, Jerina is asking, is there an upcoming webinar on robotics? Yes, absolutely. We do have it. For the exact date, please go on our Insta and Facebook handle. We, would sh we have everything shared out there. You may go and look out for which day robotics is there. It's going to be next week, but I exactly don't remember the dates. So, yes. Yes, Jerina, there is robotics, there is machine learning, automation, there is supply chain, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of topics, industrial engineering, there's a lot coming in ahead. Uh, uh, Darshit is asking, where can I start to learn to create chatbots? So, uh, of course, there are a lot of free resources, uh, Darshan, to uh, prepare a chatbot. But how about you doing a course which actually not only teaches you how to do chatbot, but also gives you an assignment of chatbot and you actually make a live project of chatbot and you also get a certificate after it. Doesn't that sound very interesting? So I think you should go for that. Um, of course, I don't know your profile and your purpose. So I would love to uh, talk more in detail. Uh, and that can be possible if you uh, come on board with us for PBM. Um, okay. Uh, tell me online platforms for learning AI. Okay. So Michigan State University has AI platforms to be learned. Okay. Uh, it's also there on uh, Coursera. So there are a lot of avenues to learn on Coursera, small, small modules. So you may go there as well. But interesting thing is there are a lot of universities which provide good certificates and good professors who teach them. Now for that, they're very customized and they're very, very different at different times. They don't run at anytime as you seek so we will help you to find those courses and we would be really really uh you know uh getting you the best course which you should be doing in this case um 
Okay. Um, Mrunal is asking, I want to participate in all webinars. How can I do that? Mrunal, you can do that, but uh, you need to put a little effort. You need to register for all the webinars which are there henceforth. All uh, are there available in the single form. So you may go there. Uh, the list of the webinars, again, is there on our Insta and Facebook handle. So guys, please go there and register yourself so that you can attend the webinars uh, coming in ahead. Okay, so Brunal, I hope I answered it. Uh, you can register uh, the same way how you registered for today. And accordingly, you can attend the rest 10 webinars that we have it. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Ganesh is asking, is it global course? Yes, guys, we need to have certifications and certificates which are globally used and recognized. You, There are a lot of academies and that's what I worry about. Ki every institute and, you know, every uh, thing is starting to offer some kind of certification. Now, if you happen to do that as an employer or as a university or as an MNC, I might not identify the authenticity of it. Hence, falling for a wrong course is is not only waste of your money but also waste of time and it will also not give you the necessary uh you know a weightage of what it should actually bring to you after spending so much of you know of your energy into it so global certification is very important and these are only offered by few and reputed ones so for those reasons that you don't fall into wrong places we would love you to join us for pbm and trust me guys this this 7000 is nothing in comparison to what we offer you our prices are dirt 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 cheap because there's absolutely so much of hard work which is going to happen behind you every month onwards so that is why i feel it's a very good offer for you guys to uh cover can engineering graduates also join pbm somya in fact i started it for engineering students only so it is for engineering students mainly because that's exactly uh you know they lose focus um uh, then they have time but they don't utilize it and hence somya i feel um uh, for an engineer every semester matters every bachelor forget it i want to talk neutrally here because it's it, it might confuse someone else for every bachelor student every semester is important if you kill it you are going to kill your career ahead you might feel very compromised i'm trying to i'm not trying to scare anyone out here but the world out is very very challenging today it is challenging and it is going to get more challenging ahead so in this case if you are not equipped with skills you are going to be at the bottom of the pyramid. I'm sorry for that. So in this case, you need to rise up. So Soumya, it's certainly for engineers as well. Uh, then, um, okay. Okay. So Soumya is asking, okay, so you are you have passed out your engineering no issues uh if you've passed out even for working professionals as i mentioned it's for any kind of bachelors any kind of engineering any uh kind of working professional so whatever is your aim and goal we help you to identify that and set the path ahead so that you can achieve your goal ahead in this case so that's exactly for everyone out there um okay I think I've answered a lot of questions and the questions are repeating. So anything further, guys, please write me to Ankita at Education Street dot in. Um, my team is going to get back to you. I hope to have you all uh, have a lot of you on board. We already have a lot of people on board with us and we are working very strongly, uh, which we do year on year. And we have actually seen results out of them. So I really, really trust you that you make the right choice. So thank you guys. Have a good time. Have a good weekend. So tomorrow there is no webinar. We are going to see you on Monday again, which is machine learning and deep learning. So see you guys tomorrow. Have a good time. See ya and be safe guys.